Trip me somewhere east of Suez, where the best is like the worst. Where there ain't no Ten Commandments, and a man can raise a thirst. For the temple bells are calling, and it's there that I would be, by the old Mulmain pagoda, looking lazy at the sea. Those are lines that I find inspiring from Rudyard Kipling's poem, Mandalay. Um, ship yourself east of Suez these days, and what are you going to see? You'll see a world that's uh, in a terrible rush. Uh, lots of slums, lots of corruption, lots of people bugging you to do things you don't want to do, and it never really stops. Uh, it can drive you crazy. That's there if you go looking for it. Um, for some reason, whenever I go there, I find the mystic East. Why? Because I want to find it there. I decide that that's where it is, that the Mystic East is there, and I find it when I go looking for it. I don't think any of Zapfi's four um, mechanisms that he explains in The Last Messiah are as badly misunderstood as sublimation number four. Uh, even the wiki link uh, that it gives you in the blurb on uh, Zapfi is misleading. Um, I'll quote what Zapfi himself actually says. The fourth remedy against panic, sublimation, is a matter of transformation rather than repression. What we think of normally as sublimation is something that we use to um, sublimate, <laughs> that we use to sort of um, weaken a negative thing. In other words, um, the example that's given in Wiki is a guy with a violent temper who takes up boxing or something to work out his violence in a more proactive way. That's not what Zapfi in my opinion, is referring to. I would say that he's taking something mundane and perhaps even unpleasant, and to use the word itself, he's making it sublime. I'll continue. Through stylistic or artistic gifts can the very pain of living at times be converted into valuable experiences. Positive impulses engage the evil and put it to their own ends, fastening onto its pictorial, dramatic, heroic, lyric, or even comic aspects. <clears throat> In other words, something negative is actually transformed. The polluted bustle of modern India becomes the mystic East, if you use your imagination. You can accept all of the realities of modern India, of the slums of Asia, of the corruption and violence of the Philippines, of the um, internet cafes on every corner in what used to be um, the uh, sublime backwaters of Java. But it's still there. You have to um, put the mystic East onto these things. You sublimate them. You recite poetry in your head when you're simply walking down the street and suddenly you're doing something of enormous value and even of breathtaking profundity. Poetry in particular has that effect on me. Um, music to a certain extent, yes. Um, arts of all their uh, 
various manifestations do that for me. I'm not a very good artist. In fact, I'm actually a bad artist. But I'm definitely of the artistic temperament. I can't do art worth a darn, but I can think art, or perhaps I can live art. I believe that I have that capacity. Um, and by that capacity, the mundanity of the universe, the meaninglessness of the universe, the overt, rather, meaninglessness of the universe, is sublimated, not repressed. It is made sublime. It is actually transformed. You might say that this is some sort of delusion, but I'd say that it isn't. Because what our consciousness really is, is a series of experiences. Something is experiencing the things that are experienced. We can control our own experiences. It's not delusion. In fact, I would say that it's the exact opposite of delusion. It's rather than having the horses uh, cart you all over the place, you tell the horses or the car or whatever vehicle you want to use to describe, you tell the vehicle where you want to go. The, um, the person who is standing in a state of existential panic or horror is being pulled around, uh, is being controlled by something else. Um, it's, again, to use the metaphor, it's Stephen King's living puppet who is still on strings. That puppet is allowing its experiences to be dictated by something else. You can control your own experiences. I would say that allowing something else to control your experiences is more of a delusion than controlling them oneself. Sublimation, as Zapfi specifically puts it, is a matter of transformation rather than repression. You're not actually refusing to look at anything. You're choosing your own experience of it. To me, life without that capacity would not be worth living. Thank you.